Hello and Hello. welcome to another video of PCDN Video Career Series. Today we're going to talk about assessing your skills, but I want to start with a story. Um, recently our son asked us, why do I need to go to school if I can learn anything from Google? I didn't know how to answer, to be honest. And then I saw him asking Siri, Siri, how do I spell a certain word? Why do I bring this story up to you guys um, in a conversation of skills? The reason why I'm doing this, or we plan to tell you this story, is because chances are, and depending on your age, that the skills you gain either through experience, your training, and your education are actually not as relevant anymore, and B, you need to consider that learning skills is a constant activity that never ends. So Craig, tell us a little bit about the importance of skills and why do we have this conversation in the context of looking for a job? Great, thank you for, so one of the things, you know, when you look at a job description, they have qualifications, experience, you know, the years they want, language, but they have a long list of skills and in the social impact space, we're going to talk about you know, looking for jobs next session, you know, where to look at the job descriptions, but that's one of the ways you can ascertain what skills you need. And you can divide skills, or a lot of professionals, including ourselves, divide skills into kind of hard technical skills and then softer, more human skills. And so one of the most important things as you're beginning your job search is to do a realistic self-appraisal of what are the, not just your credentials, like if you have a university or undergrad or graduate degree, but what are the concrete technical and soft skills you have that can help an employer meet the need they're trying to fill with this job hiring. So some of the most important hard skills that are in demand in the social impact sector, and this really comes from, you can look on the screen, we'll give some description, and this also comes from LinkedIn does an annual review, and also there's a great organization called RippleWorks in the US. So in the tech, in the hard skills, one of the things that's really needed is evaluation, and that's in high demand in a lot of sectors, in particular what evaluation, you can call it design, monitoring, and evaluation, is the ability to design programs or services or a product to track, you know, are you meeting your goals, both as a company or an organization, and what's the longer term output or impact of what you're providing? And this is so important because almost all organizations want to know now, like, are you meeting your goals and what is the bigger impact on the communities that you're serving? So that is such an in-demand skill. The second thing that's really important is technical skills in terms of technology. Um, and one of the things we like to say at PCDN, and we often joke about this, that if you speak geek, that's you know kind of half of the universe, which we mean tech. If you speak human, that's another half of the universe. But if you speak geek and human, those two languages together, you're likely to have a very strong and happy career where you'll be in demand for many job offerings. This doesn't mean you have to go out and learn coding or how to operate drones, but you need to be fluent enough to understand how technology is increasingly playing a dramatic role in the careers in the social impact space and in our own lives. So. You, you know, you might learn something about machine learning, drones, artificial intelligence, you know, but at least some basic technical technology skills and that you can converse across both sectors. Another area that's quite in demand is marketing. And this comes from the research on what Ripple works and marketing relates to communication and storytelling. The idea is a lot of organizations in the social impact space, you know, where they're providing something through charity or a product or a service is how do you attract your beneficiaries, customers or clients? So you've got to learn how to tell a convincing story, how to reach out to your audience, how to try things, how to scale up, how to grow. So the ability to kind of get a message out there to the right target audience and then expand from out there is so important. Along with marketing goes a lot of social media and technology skills in terms of um, CRM systems, customer relationship management. You know, if you're using social media, that's a skill, but connecting to evaluation is the ability to measure the impact of how to use it smartly. We could go on and on and on about skills, so we're not gonna cover them all, you know, and you're gonna to have to think what else is needed in your sector. But Katha, what are some of the core softer, more human skills that are important? Well, I don't really like the term soft skills as much, but I heard about someone saying something that really resonated with me, which is soft skills are those skills that are very hard, nearly impossible, or will take a long time for machines to perform. So those of you who listen to Craig and it's like, well, I was trained in sociology and anthropology, uh, how am I gonna be competitive in the job market? I think that a lot of us that have been traditionally trained in the social science could actually get ahead if we have the soft skills, which inclu include 
creativity, ability to work across teams, ability to be uh, good with clients, uh, emotional intelligence. And so these skills are actually in combination with technical skills is the ideal combination that employers are looking these days. Yeah. And what are the most important skills? So like the single most important skill to stay competitive for the jobs in the next 10 and 20 years is the commitment and the ability to keep learning. So I'll say that again, the most important skill that almost everyone universally says is the ability, desire, and commitment to learn. Because what that means by, by a lot of research that in the next 10 years, 50% of all the, let's say, professionals in the US are gonna need to upskill to keep their jobs. So the, in the jobs of the future, the ones that are gonna emerge in the next five or 10 years don't even exist today. If you think, who would have thought 10 years ago about a drone operator, social media professional, you know, all these new careers of the future, and they're just gonna keep emerging. So um, the other thing we'll say, and this comes from our friend Bob Spore at Ashoka, is that one of the most important things is not just the ability to work in teams, it's the ability to work across sectors and collaboratively. So in the social impact space, we all know that no one organization, person, or sector can address the large scale social problems we have. So it's the ability to think holistically, systematically, and design thinking is another very important skill, and then collaborate to jointly work to address huge social challenges. So that we can go on forever. What we'd like you to do now, you know, in your own time, is really do an accurate self-appraisal. Where are your strengths? You know, what are some challenges you might have? And what, what do you need to still develop in relation to the sector, the type of job you're seeking? You know, and sometimes it can be hard to know if you're strong in a particular skill. So how, do, how does someone do a self-appraisal and make sure it's somewhat accurate? Well, um, I think that this could be a good starting point. But if you continue watching and following and subscribing to this series, you'll realize that in two days, we're going to talk about uh, devising a plan to perfecting the art of making uh, the job search a very smart process for you. And the more jobs you start reviewing, the more you, clarity you're gonna have. What are the skills that these jobs keep asking over and over again? Once you realize that there is a pattern in these skills, you can easily know, well, I already have them, so I'm ready to go. Oh, oh I need to work on this and this skill. Right now, we're giving you the foundations, but in a couple of days, we're, you, we're, we're gonna produce this brand new um, plan. We're gonna tell you how to do a job in order that you don't get overwhelmed with the job search, which we know is very nerve-wracking. Yeah. So that's all for this week. And tune with us in a couple of days with another video of how to get from purpose to hire. Bye-bye.